Hi there guys. So today we're going to talk about how the NeoPixels power consumption is and how we can calculate and figure out if we're going to use a bigger size of strip or a grid or any kind of size of NeoPixels. So first of all, we're going to talk a little bit about RGB. So when we're talking about RGB, it's the red, green, blue colors that we are having in our NeoPixels. And usually we're talking about that each pixel uh, or each LED is consuming about 20 milliamps of for one color. So if you're gonna use, have one LED to turn the color to white, we're gonna have the R, G, and B all turned on fully brightness. So that's gonna be about 60, mic, uh, it's like 60 uh, milliamps. And you can then multiply that by the number of uh, pixels or uh, LEDs that you have. So a simple equation for this can be 0 0.02 amps times three colors times the number of LEDs that we have. So for my case, I'm using a 25, a five by five grid, so that's 25. So I'm gonna use a power consumption of about um, 1.5 amps. So that's how I size my power source. So when I look in the back and I figure out, okay, I have to a five volts power supply and I will need, it will need to have a minimum of 1.5 amps. That's not that much, it's easy to find. But especially when we get into longer, like the strip kind of type of NeoPixels. So, uh, so this type here, we're going to have to figure out how, um, how to power them. Okay, so let's take a look at... So right now I have everything powered from the Arduino. Right now everything is just uh, hooked up to the 5 volt connection here on the Arduino and the ground. So everything is powered directly from my computer. And I don't have the power supply up here... Uh, turned on I can actually just turn it off I'll do that for a second okay guys so here's the code I am um, I just changed a little bit around in the for loop in here so now that I turn all the LEDs on to this 255 value up here and I have also from down here copied this set brightness and put it underneath the setup function and then I turned the brightness I have the brightness control all the way here in the top to 255 so this is not a 0 to 100 value, it's a 0 to 255 because it's an 8-bit value you have to input here. So that's just uh, how it works and this is going to run through the lines and you're going to see. So let's start out having this as like 96 just like so and compiling the sketch, uploading and upload done. So what you can see over here now is that it turns on if I just if I just hit the reboot button, it's going to run through the code from the beginning. You see it piles all the way through and then it goes there and stops. It stays on. So this is what happens right now and and that's this is like a fine power consumption level um, for for the LEDs. It's fine for the other, you know, it can handle all this. But if I turn the the brightness now up to 255, the full brightness and I upload this code we're gonna see something a little different happens. It might seem that everything are okay, but it's gonna the the panel is gonna be even more bright. And if you wait a second here, you're gonna see that it might restart. Actually, you're gonna reboot this code. And um, so you see that. So you see there that it rebooted, and it reboots because. I'm drawing so much power from the other, you know, that it forces it to reboot and tries to figure out if, if that might solve a problem for itself. So it reboots right now. It, it shouldn't actually restart and do this over. I didn't put that into the code. So I'm, I'm like, I'm over the edge right now of where, of how much power I'm, I'm consuming from the other, you know. It, it's protected itself, so um, you cannot really, like, uh, um, kill an Arduino Uno in this way, it doesn't really matter, but uh, you're going to have a problem when uploading. So if I if I try now, I see this problem, I try changing it, so I'm going to change this back to the 96 and I try hitting upload. You might see that I get an error here, it says that the selected serial port um, programmer is not responding. And that's because it's drawing so much power over there, so I can actually not program my Arduino right now because it's drawing so much power. So what I'm gonna do here is that I will, on my connectors, I'll pull out the five volt connector. And that will uh, like make sure that it doesn't take so much power. 
and I'm going to upload it. And now it's all uploaded and I can input this the block here back into the 5 volt connection. And now I'm not having any issues. Okay, so often um, when we're running projects, we're going to use more NeoPixels than this. So what we're going to do about it is that we're going to use an external power supply. And for my case here, I'm going to use this lab, uh, lab bench power supply here. But you can use like computer, lab, computer supplies or any other kind of like, usually most kind of supplies will, will work for this. But it needs to be 5 volts for the NeoPixels for, for them to work. So what we're going to do here is that I'm going to turn on the power supply. And for a brief second, I'm going to take out the 5 volts for, uh, for the LED panel so you can see what actually is going on here. So, so what we have right here is that this panel is set to 12 volts. I'm just going to scroll on the, this connector until I get down to 5 volts. Just about five volts, that's fine. And then it says down here, output. I'm gonna put you a little closer here. So right here it says output and there is like an open switch. And that means that it isn't uh, closed yet. I have to put this output, press that, and that's gonna close this circuit here. And, and that means that now my two connectors that are connected down here actually have power to them. Okay, so that's these two guys here. I only have two red ones, but I have a black wire on one of them and a red wire on the other. So this is my ground and this is my five volts. So what I'm gonna do here is that I'm gonna take the five volt connection and I'm gonna put that into the five volts. So that's the, now the five volt VCC connector is going down here to this five volt connector here. And I'm gonna take the ground connector, this one, and I'm gonna take out the ground as well and I'm gonna connect that up to the ground level here. And what we're gonna see now is that it, it kind of works. Um, it, it lights up but you see it's like flashing and blinking and you, you might see that the colors are changing all randomly weird, especially if I do like a reboot. Um, that's gonna cause maybe some trouble. You see it stops midway and then it doesn't really work so, so great. And the reason for this is that they don't have the same ground potential the, the Arduino is powered from my computer and the LCD, like this grid matrix over here, is powered separately from this power supply. And that doesn't have the same reference. So what I will need to do is I will need to connect this ground together from the power supply over here to the ground level of the Arduino. There's nothing dangerous about this at all. So I'm just going to grab another jumper, jumper wire like this one here. And I'm going to connect that to the ground level of this. And I'm going to try connecting it together just inside the same plug right here. Um, like this. And that should make sure that the, like that should eliminate the problem if I can get them both to be in here. Okay, like so. So when I restart now, we should see that that one is working all fine. Okay, so another thing they're changed now that we're gonna see is on my power supply here that I'm drawing about 0 0.3 amps. That's how much power I'm consuming for, for the new pixels down here, actually. And if I now try changing my code to 255, the brightness, so I set it to full power, we're gonna see not as high a power consumption, but we're gonna see a pretty, pretty high one as well. Uh, so we calculated to 1.5 amps. A real life scenario is that it's drawing about 0 0.8 amps. But I would still size my, my power unit for 1.5 just to make sure that any small peaks or something um, is still, is still going to be fine. And then I will also have additional power to power my Arduino. So this is a rather good prototyping setup. I just turned the, the new pixels away from you so you can see a little bit more what's going on. But I want, what I want to do now is um, when we're prototyping and setting programming everything, this is how I would run it. But when we're going out into the field, I want, to, um, I want to power everything from one unit. If I already am powering this for 5 volts and I can power my Arduino with 5 volts, I can power everything from one unit actually. So I don't need to, to have my computer plugged in for this to work. So I'm just going to take an additional jumping wire 
and I'm going to connect that up to, to the 5 volt connection here as well. So now it also contains two of these wires. And um, now I should actually unplug my computer because I don't want to risk backfeeding. I, I think I, I, is, this is all protected. The computers are usually protected, but I'm not going to risk anything. I'm just going to take that out. And now I have five volts on this connector here. And you can see the LCD actually still is on. Um, but, the knee, but the other Eno board isn't. There is no colors or anything. It's not flashing on. And now I'm going to put that into the five volt connection here. Like right there. Okay, you see the on light goes on, then it reboots, and now the new pixel, if I hit read start, is, uh, is doing exactly what I programmed it to do. So this is how I run it without my computer attached to it. Of course, I can't program to it anymore, and I can change these uh, connectors out for um, like just an ordinary um, power supply you can find. And now we're drawing about 1.9 because I'm also supplying the auto, you know, with my uh, with my voltage. Okay, so I'm gonna press the output here, turn everything off. So let's talk a little bit about these strings here. So these strings is uh, is connected together by this flexible PCB ribbon, and like they can they can power um, for a f for a long for a long time and. Uh, like for a long distance of them. Like I would say about a, um, a full roll of them, like the 10 meters can be powered by five volts. That's okay. Um, some of the things that we can do with the ribbon cable here is that we connect the five volts, is that we connect the five volt and the ground here, of course, to the lab, to the power supply. And, and if you're gonna see them maybe dim over at distance, like all the way in the other end, they might dim and, and a way to fix that is we actually just connect five volt and ground to the other end as well. So down here, I, I just took some scissors and I cut it to length. I can have a full, I can have a longer distance than this. And I can just backfeed it actually. So I can connect the same five volts and the same ground. I'm gonna connect to this end here together. And by doing that, I'm actually in, in some wires in the background, backfeeding into this and very dependent on color and how you're gonna do this, um, we're gonna we're gonna attach and we're gonna have to cut your your LEDs and we're gonna have to attach wires into it and make sure that uh, it has power supply. Just because this cable is so thin that it's not able to pull the current all the way through to the other end sometimes. So that might be also an issue that you're gonna run into. And and the way to fix it is just to um, to tape wires on the back and have to cut and solder it to um, to the connectors. Okay, that's all for this video. See ya.